All right, I'm here with Frontier's Lily Boggan after winning the steeplechase. Lily, just first of all, what are your thoughts about becoming a state champion in this event? Um, it was really good. I mean, competing yesterday and then competing today was definitely something I was really excited for, so yeah. And for this race, I mean, you won by 13 seconds. Just what were you feeling coming to the race and obviously with the way you performed? Um, I was kind of just really excited, I guess. I mean, I was just going out there kind of having fun, um, seeing how things play out. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy with how I did. Now, you have a quick turnaround because last night you guys competed, I believe, is in the 4x800? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, that was really late given what happened last night. So how were you able to prepare for today after, you know, such a late day yesterday? Um, I was kind of just going into it with good intentions. Just like, even though I raced like only like 10 hours ago, coming <laughs> back is just like really exciting and just something new to experience because I've never like come back like to a double like that before. So, yeah, it was just kind of like different and exciting, I guess. And, you know, for this race, you know, I've seen you compete in this, obviously against Angelina and stuff like that. Just for you, what's it feel like to finally have your moment and be not just state champion, but the federal champion? Um, it was good. I was really happy, like, kind of having those girls last year, like Angelina, to, like, help push me forward. She definitely was a big inspiration for um, Steeplechase and 800 and everything. So I'm really, like, grateful that she kind of, like, kept me going, like, kept me doing it. So, and I'm really happy where it got me today. Now, Fia, what's this like having this moment with your friends, family, and teammates? Um, I'm really happy, like, that my team qualified and, like, having my family to support me whenever I'm, like, feeling down or, like, sick or anything like that. So, um, yeah, just really happy to have people by my side. And for you, how many, is it, how many state titles is, is this um, for you? This is my second. Your second. So, I mean, it's hard to get a state title, hard to get a federation title, just... How do you sum up this journey to this point? Um, I am just like really happy. The um, hard work definitely does pay off. Um, even though um, I do a lot of a lot of other things and stuff <laughs> like that, with schoolwork and everything, um, I'm definitely happy. Like my parents um, kind of pushed me to be the person I am. And the last question I asked again. I have to ask it again. Federation champ, state champion. I mean, how do you put that into words, especially for people that kind of want to be in your position, just how you were aspiring to to catch what Angelina was doing as well. Um, just kind of like keep working at it um, and you know you only have like a couple moments in your life to experience these great events um, so just kind of embracing every little thing is just really kind of a big deal actually I do I do have one more question how do you sum up yesterday after what you, all you track athletes went through from the delays <laughs> to the I don't know if you saw the power went out during the uh, yeah. during this event during the last event last night um, how do you sum up what you had to go through last night to stay prepared um, I mean, yesterday definitely was unexpected. I mean, our 4x4 was like, oh my gosh, it's so nice outside as soon as we got here at 9 in the morning. So, um, you know, and just like waiting that long definitely was a little bit suspenseful. Um, and just like kind of going out there, even though I had to like kind of wait a long time and stuff was just really exciting. Kind of made me a little bit more anxious to run and more excited. So I'm really happy about that.